The 20th century luminist painters made their water and sky shimmer. Here's one way to do that. So in order to make a, a, a shimmer, or a feeling of shimmer on water or in the sky or in another place that uh, whose image I might not be able to think of right now, we need um, actually two things to happen. We need the value of two different colors, or yeah, two different colors, the value to be the same, but we need one color to be a lower intensity and another color to be a higher intensity. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Now, I'm not going to try to do an image of water or sky or anything. I just want to show the effect. So I have here sort of a blue-gray, and it's kind of a middle value of blue-gray. Let me just kind of raise that value a little bit, blue-gray. Value is really important here. So um, so I'm just going to throw some blue-gray here, and assuming, assuming that is water, I could just do the whole area. I could have some could have some variation in value in it. Okay, now there are other th some things that we can do uh, to create water that makes it feel like water in certain ways. We can put the value or the strokes, but this one creates the shimmer. So here's what we need to happen. We need to go to the higher intensity of that color. So that color is blue-green. What's the higher intensity? All right, let's see. And we need, we need the higher intensity and we need the same value. So what we'll start out with, uh, I said blue-green. So I'm going to come in with ultramarine blue here. I'll add a little bit of the Daniel Smith sap green to it here. And let's play with that. And, uh, and, and let's see what we have. That feels... Yeah, that's a little bit higher intensity, and it seems like about the same value. So, let's get a little bit more of that mixture here. Um, the, 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 the hue of the color uh, can vary just a little bit, but in order, for to get the, in order for us to get the true shimmer, we need the hue to be pretty, pretty close. So, now that, ah, there we have it. Notice the, on my palette knife, the intensity is higher. It's a brighter intensity. It's not the highest intensity, but it is higher. And the volume is right on the same. So what we would do there with a clean brush, pick up that color and scumble it right in here. Now, if we see a difference in value like I saw right there, that's not going to work. But if we scumble that color so that it is beside, there we go, we begin to feel a little bit of that luminosity. Now let's do it in a lighter value, a little bit lighter value. That's, that's a very subtle luminosity. Let's get it in a lighter value and an even higher intensity. So I'm raising the value a little bit of the, uh, the same blue-gray right here. So that we have a lighter value, not too much lighter, but light, somewhat lighter, lighter value right there. Now this time I'm not going to vary the value of that particular section because I just want to show you the technique. All right, and keep in mind that it is um, a high intensity green blue or blue green. So uh, we've got thalo blue, which is a high intensity, very high intensity, greenish blue, but it's not quite green enough. See if I hold it there, it not, it's not quite green enough, so I'm, I can adjust that. Now see, this is important. If we want that to be effective, then the color needs to be pretty close, the hue. The hue needs to be pretty close. Now I've I think I'm, it feels like about the same hue, different intensity. I'm going to raise the value of that because I want the value of that to be the same as this. Now it seems a little still dark, and so I'll raise it a little bit more. 
play with this just a little bit and let's be sure that I didn't there we go now all right that seems when I squint it this against that is the same value now we should be able to see the luminosity even stronger than here so we pick a little bit of that on the tip of the brush and sort of scumble it and if you look real closely you see it begins to shimmer you can feel that shimmer if you overdo it the shimmer will go away and there's your quick tip